The most distant human-made object ever created is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. Launched back in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any other machine built by humans, venturing deep into the vast and mysterious expanse of interstellar space. To truly appreciate the magnitude of this achievement, imagine a small, car-sized spacecraft being launched over 45 years ago, on a mission that was originally planned to last only a few years. Instead, Voyager 1 has defied all expectations, continuing to explore regions of space that were once thought completely unreachable, well beyond its scheduled operational lifespan. Voyager 1 is more than just a distant traveler, it is a symbol of human curiosity and ingenuity. What's truly astounding is not just how far it has gone but the fact that it still communicates with Earth, sending precious scientific data back across billions of kilometers. It uses technology that now seems almost ancient, computers with less memory than a basic calculator, and data stored on analog tape recorders. This technology is far older than the digital devices we carry in our pockets today. Yet, against all odds, Voyager 1's signals continue to traverse the immense gulf of space, proving the incredible foresight and skill of the engineers and scientists who designed this remarkable spacecraft. The Voyager missions have recently made discoveries that have captured the attention of the global scientific community and the public alike. These discoveries challenge what we thought we knew about the boundary between our solar system and the vast, unexplored interstellar space beyond. They raise profound questions about the forces that shape our cosmic neighborhood and what lies ahead as humanity peers deeper into the universe. To understand just how extraordinary the Voyager missions are, we need to journey back in time to the late 1960s and early 1970s. NASA scientist Gary Flandro, working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, noticed something remarkable. He realized that once every 176 years, the four outer giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would line up in a rare cosmic configuration. This alignment would allow a spacecraft to travel from one planet to the next using a clever technique called gravitational assist, essentially hitching a ride on the planet's gravity to increase speed and reduce travel time. Gravitational assists work like this. A spacecraft approaches a planet and is pulled by its gravity, accelerating as it swings around the planet before shooting off toward its next destination. This clever maneuver saves fuel and drastically shortens the journey. Thanks to this planetary alignment, a trip that would have otherwise taken around 30 years could be completed in just 12 years. This rare window of opportunity inspired NASA to act quickly. In the summer of 1977, NASA launched two nearly identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 15 days apart. Despite being launched second, Voyager 1 was sent on a faster path, reaching Jupiter and Saturn before Voyager 2. Their mission was ambitious, to explore the outer solar system and send back detailed data about these distant worlds. Little did anyone realize then that these probes would go on to shatter records and continue to send back valuable information decades later. The initial mission for Voyager was only supposed to last about four years, focusing on Jupiter and Saturn. But as the probes reached these planets, they revealed wonders beyond imagination. Voyager 1 gave us stunning close-up images of Jupiter's moons, unveiling volcanic activity on Io and Icy, dynamic surfaces on Europa. These moons were not just cold, lifeless rocks. They were active worlds, reshaping our understanding of what a moon could be. Voyager 2 took exploration even further. It became the first spacecraft ever to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989 flying through parts of the solar system that no human-made object had ever seen. At Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered a tilted magnetic field and faint rains. At Neptune, it found the fastest winds recorded in the solar system, blowing at over 1,200 miles per hour, and spotted active storms, like the Great Dark Spot. These discoveries amazed scientists and opened new chapters in planetary science. Despite their impressive accomplishments, the Voyagers are tiny by today's standards, about the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Their onboard computers are primitive compared to modern smartphones, with only 69 kilobytes of memory, enough to hold a few pages of text but far less than what is required to store a single high-resolution photograph today. 
The instruments on board operate with incredible precision and autonomy because it takes hours for a command from Earth to reach the spacecraft, and the delay for signals to return is even longer. Data collected by Voyager is stored on analog tape recorders and sent back via radio transmitter powered by just 23 watts, roughly the power consumed by a small light bulb. The spacecraft's 12-foot diameter high-gain antenna focuses the radio signals tightly so they can be picked up by NASA's Deep Space Network, an array of huge radio dishes spread across the globe. These dishes capture Voyager's faint signals, extracting information from amid the cacophony of radio interference generated by Earth's many electronic devices. As Voyager travels farther and farther away, the time it takes for signals to travel increases. Signals from Voyager 2, for example, take over 18 hours to reach Earth. The challenges don't stop there. The signal strength becomes weaker every day, and the background noise from human-made sources on Earth makes receiving data even more difficult. Yet, against these odds, Voyager continues to defy expectations, regularly sending back valuable information that expands our understanding of the universe. One of the most significant milestones in Voyager's journey was crossing the heliopause in 2012. The heliopause marks the outer boundary of the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind and magnetic fields that envelops our solar system. Beyond this lies interstellar space, a vast region filled with tenuous plasma, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields influenced by distant stars. Scientists anticipated that crossing this boundary would bring dramatic changes in the environment experienced by the spacecraft. Voyager 1 detected a sharp increase in plasma density, confirming its entry into interstellar space. However, somewhat surprisingly, the spacecraft did not observe the expected change in magnetic field direction. This unexpected finding challenged previous models of how the solar wind interacts with the galaxy and suggested a more complex and dynamic boundary than scientists had imagined. Voyager 2 later crossed the heliopause, providing further insights and confirming many of Voyager 1's observations, but from a different vantage point in space. Together, the Voyagers have given humanity its first direct measurements of the interstellar environment revealing a turbulent and fascinating frontier just beyond the reach of the sun's influence. Their journey will continue for many years to come, gradually approaching the distant Oort cloud, a hypothesized spherical shell of icy bodies surrounding the solar system, thought to be the source of long-period comets. However, reaching this distant region will take tens of thousands of years. For now, the Voyagers serve as our silent ambassadors to the cosmos, transmitting data that continues to shape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The Voyager missions represent the triumph of human ingenuity, perseverance, and the unyielding desire to explore. Launched with modest technology and limited expectations, these spacecraft have become the longest-lived and farthest-traveling emissaries of Earth. They remind us that even the smallest steps into the unknown can yield extraordinary discoveries that expand our horizons and deepen our appreciation for the vast, mysterious universe we call home.